This one might be a DLC case, cause there is no military thingy in the beginning this time. You know a Freddy Calhoun? Sure, I know. Freddy needs money to get out of town. Says he's prepared to blow the whistle on a primo reefer distribution ring. Says he Has can. Has he said how much it's gonna cost? 50 bucks. And the department will front me the 50? You can put in an expense claim. He's over at Mike Lyman's on Hollywood Boulevard. See what you can find out. <sighs> Another day on the job. All right. Poor little twist. I've never even been in this room before. Fifty bucks? Do they think I made of money? No, you just look like you're made of money. <laughs> oh, very good. The kid's on form. I'd say on a scale of dull to scintillating, you're a solid tedious today, which you can be pleased with. Do you ever listen to yourself? I don't have the same voices in my head as you do, Cole. Oh, he was in the that's the basement. I'm not used to the layout of this place. And they're ribbing each other a little bit, but seems like overall we're doing okay. I mean, it's all right. <laughs> Is Roy's nice convertible here? Yeah. Maybe we'll go for something a little less flashy. This is probably one of the flashiest cars we've seen so far, though. But what's this? What is this? Oh my god, it's a fire thingy! It's a fire truck! But if the skipper sees us driving around in this, we're dead. American LaFrance fire truck. Bye, Roy. Get in here, come on. We won't be able to get street crimes today, but that's that's fine with me as long as we're driving this. Get in! Get in! Hello! I'm gonna leave you if you don't go. Okay, bye. <laughs> no, I need you so that we can talk about the previous case. Come on, buddy, what the heck? Get in here. You gotta be kidding me. We're driving this? Get this, middle of the afternoon, this crazy woman decides to set fire to the hotel she lives in. A fire brigade come and put it out. A couple hours later, she does it again. Phones up Central and says, I've set fire to my hotel twice today. You'd better come and get me. <laughs> Did they send some uniforms around to get her? No, that's the best part. The desk sergeant, he gets his share of crank calls, says, all right, Lady Nero, why don't you come on down here? <laughs> An hour later, she shows. Hair still smoking, clothes smoldering, smelling like a brush fire. <laughs> I like how we're having a conversation about a fire while driving a fire truck after hitting a fire hydrant. I'm really sorry about that, okay? But uh, we, we are in a hurry. It's fine. Is that a fire truck conversation, by the way? It didn't seem like it was related to the previous case or any other case. All right, dude. Running. What's this one about? Hey, we haven't seen newspapers for a while. That's him in the back, Cole. Oh, okay. That cherry pie was delicious. Mm. Everyone here looks kind of well off. Two club sandwiches. Thank this guy. You, Freddy, you're looking good. You're gonna help me, right? That's what I'm here for. You got the money? The 20? Sure, mm -hmm. right here. 20? I said... You want the money or the alternative? Tell us about the reefer, Freddy. Who's he? Another good Samaritan. Answer the question. Grass comes from Tijuana. They bring in 50 pounds a week. 50 pounds? Are you hallucinating, Freddy? Get stashed at a house at 1452 North Las Palmas. Names, Freddy. The guy at the house is a spick that goes by the name Juan Garcia Cruz. But be careful. He likes guns. Now do I get my money? Do me a favor, Freddy. Spend the money on a bus ticket. You can't last forever on a snitch jacket. Let's go visit this Cruz character. 50 pounds of dope. Crazy. I'm guessing it's worth more than $50. Do we usually pay off informants like that? It seems so... I don't know. Hmm. 
I'm sure they get compensation, but just straight up money like that. How are we gonna look getting around in this thing, Cole? Fabulous. Maybe a little bit slow, but uh, I like it right now, so it's fine. It's you fine. You the story? Sure. A hophead like Freddy would raffle his sister for his next score. So, no. Okay. Well, we don't know until we get to this, this uh, whatever this guy's name was, Juan something Cruz. Change of plans. We're heading over there in a fire truck. Hopefully the suspects won't be gone by the time we get over there. Any available unit, the 44 suspects we take it into custody at sunset and Ivar. Unit to handle code two. Against the odds. Hey, that's the polar bear company, isn't it? Detective Phelps. Look, Phelps, in a minute a bag man named Rampley's gonna walk in here and put a mint on some horse running in the fifth. We don't care about Rampley so much as we want his boss. He's the one we're gonna put away for fixing the race. You're hoping Rampley will lead us to him? Bingo. Here's what you're gonna do. Get in there, blend in, wait for our mark. He'll be in a dark coat. Wait until he hands over the cash, then tail him. Good luck. Wait. You gave me too many instructions just now. <laughs> what? What? Uh, something about tailing him? I'll wait outside. Keep an eye on the place. Uh, okay. Wait until the cash exchange okay, happens. Okay. The papers. It's not that big case. Oh, this is different. You know he's important. He's got a fedora. Give me a grand on Cavalcade in the fifth. Am I tailing him on foot? All right. Oh, wow, we're telling someone on foot. That's a first. But I'm a little bit scared because the moment he turns around... Am I sticking out a little bit too much right now? Maybe. Whoa! How do I hide anyway? Whoa, shoot. He's looking at the thing. Oh, okay, so I can just go incognito by doing that. Can I do that anywhere or No, not hey, everywhere. Come on. This ain't New York. <sighs> What's so New York about What? What? Oh what? I was behind that garbage can. Are you kidding me? Okay, take two. This time. <laughs> it's that it's a freaking bus again. It's all the same stuff. Whoa! Whoa! Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I think I ran a little bit too close to him. I'm just waiting for someone to yell, It's the cop from the newspapers! <laughs> you know what? Maybe I can use this bus to my advantage here. If I stay behind it. It's probably better to be a little bit further away than closer. Because if he's further away, yeah, I can still see where he is. So he stands there for a little bit. Why is he not suspicious of the guy right next to him? <laughs> Alright. Here. No, we can't let him see us at all. Hey, come on. This ain't New York. When you go into an alleyway, though, it becomes really obvious that you're tailing somebody. Whoa! He looked around.
I guess the the hard thing right now is uh, how do I? Oh, how do I determine where I can go incognito? Was what I was gonna say. Got it, boss. A full G. She's coming in at twenty to one. You and I are about to retire. LAPD, you're both under arrest. Oh, you just had to yell it like this. Whoa! Ooh. So much for tailing him. He just ended right here. How are we gonna look getting around in this thing, Cole? Car 11K calling KGPL. Ambulance required at Sunset and Ivar. Shots fired and suspects are down. We're code four, but I'll need an ambulance in a corner. Roger that, 11K. All units, be advised. The 44 at Sunset and Ivar is code four. Suspects are down. That was sort of messed up, because all they did was talk. And then all we said was LAPD, and then they started shooting us. Hey, they got his car here, because the fire truck doesn't have a dispatch radio. <laughs> fine, fine. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. All right, get us there, Roy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You can't just shoot. Are you serious? Call for help. I'll try and find a way in. We literally just walked past the house. And they started shooting us already. That's one. 11K calling KGPL. Officers need help at 1452 North Las Palmas. Fired and officers need help at 1452 North Las Palmas. Don't need help, after all. I'll ask you politely to move on. Next time I won't be so nice. But now we won't be able to interrogate them. You guys don't have to leave a mess. What happened? Dope peddler, Juan Cruz. You opened fire and, well, the rest of the story tells itself. Are these all drugs? Tomato soup. Uh, what if this guy has diseases? You're just touching his blood. Oh my god, you can hear his neck crack and stuff. That's so creepy. A silver dollar. I thought they took these things out of circulation. Is that for the US? What does that say? The thing that's rubbed out. Oh. Probably worth a pretty penny. Or, uh, I guess it's worth a silver dollar. <coughs> Juan Garcia Cruz. This is his address, but this place looks like a front. Doesn't really look like a residence when you have like 20,000 boxes of tomato soup. Did he really have to die? Yeah, I guess so, cause he... We, like I said, we literally walked outside and he started shooting us. What's that? Okay. Is this a drug or a village in Borneo? Doesn't appear to be in Spanish. Masanque? Was that what was on the dollar? Can we actually see? Stamping mark. Yeah, Masat. Hmm. Must mean something. This, however, means nothing. No good to me. Parnell Soup Company. Doesn't anyone eat regular meals anymore? Junkies feeding on popcorn and grasshoppers living on soup. It's an easy way to um, distribute drugs. Whoa. 
Seems irrelevant. <laughs> Are you sure? There's a gun right here, there's a gun right there, there's a gun there. This isn't what we're looking for. What is it? Quality... Quality something. Marathon? I can't read it. It's a little bit too small. Oh, are we looking for the... Um, the tomato soup company? Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Phelps badge 1247. How can I help, detective? I need an address on a Parnell Soup Company, a head office or factory in the Los Angeles area. Just a second, detective. Only one address listed, 6310 Fountain Avenue. Thanks for your help. Hmm. That was easy. I wonder if it's actually a good idea to use it like that, though. Like, what if I just didn't mark the boxes? Then no one would be able to chase after an address. But then again, the whole reason why they have the company name there is that so the... So the deliveries don't look suspicious. Did I miss that room? The soup! Maybe these are the guys keeping Juan so well stocked with soup. 20th century market. Uh, this place looks crummy. Look at that bed. Well, I guess that's it for inside, but what about out here? You jump like a girl. <laughs> <coughs> what? I don't know what you're talking about. <coughs> oh, God. Nope. That's messed up. Why would he do that? Why would he do that? I thought that was a damn clue. Whoa! Now we're getting somewhere. Damn. More soup? Who in the hell keeps a secret stash of soup? Mm, well, that's why we're investigating, right? You hungry or something, Phelps? What is that? I'd say that's pretty good value for 12 cents. Factory sealed. Someone at the cannery has a lot of explaining to do. That just looks like a blob to me. I don't even know what that is. Oh, reefer. Reefer. Marijuana? That's why it's called reefer madness, right? Leek? And it's not leek. It's not leek and tomato. Or a potato. This is potato soup. Soup in the pot. They even bothered sealing it and stuff. Like, that's... Yeah. Conveniently, a ledger right here. With Juan dead, we need a new suspect, Cole. Is there a pattern to the deliveries? Yeah, this name keeps coming up. This guy EJ seems to be bringing in most of the serious weight. The dates and times seem pretty regular. We should notify the border crossing. Yeah, look at those amounts. Those fuckers are probably in on it. Let's wait and see how this plays out. The border? The border's in on it? Smoking on the job. Okay, looks like that's that for now. Carruthers, do you have anything to add? I need to get back to it, Phelps. Okay. Never the same, are they? I guess we're done here. Oh, that poor pot. 
broken. <laughs> Look at the fencing. So what's going on over there? Things. You can drive. Fine. Where are we mm. headed? Let's try. I don't know. I guess it doesn't really matter. Let's try the market first. The market might not necessarily be in on it. Because they're not going to open every can. Crother says the morphine is still turning up. Makes sense. We have no idea how much of the stuff Lenny shifted. There's been no comeback from Cohen as yet. Roy's a horrible driver, what the heck? Maybe Confidential Magazine is right, and Bugsy is on the slide. You read that stuff? I wouldn't say it to his face if I was you. That is one hot-tempered son of a bitch. Sit tight. Let's take a look at what's going on. Either these customers are serious soup lovers, or I think we found our middleman. Car 11 King to KGPL. Car 11 King, go ahead. I'm requesting assistance in a B wagon at 20th Century Markets, 1558 North Highland. Numerous narcotic suspects. Code 2 only, no sirens. 11K, Roger. Okay. Cavalry should be here any minute. Roy's actually been doing his job properly this whole time. Despite his appearances. Wow, you guys are flashy! LAPD, nobody move! I'll take my chances. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Playing with fire here, buddy. Well, that was fast. <laughs> Whatever you're carrying, hand it over. I'd say he's got about half a can left. I guess that makes me a pessimist. <laughs> you can't take me in. Take you in? Be glad he didn't shoot you. I wouldn't have chased you. If it was up to me, you'd be talking out of a hole in the back of your I head. I want information. Senor, I would like to help you. But I got a family in Mexico I have to provide for. And my compadres are very unreasonable. Your compadres? Turn out your pockets. Silver coin. I need Ray to run down these silver dollars. Yeah, the same stamping. I need to make a deal. I need guarantees. You have identification? Ooh. Sanchez Erto, Mexican, Tijuana address. I can't even tell. <laughs> I can't read any of this. Tipo A? Type A? Okay, wait, his name is Erito Quintilio? What's Sanchez then? Gee, oh my god, why can't I read any of this? <laughs> Money. Dollar bills. Here's the deal, Erto. You give me information, and I won't give you to immigration. Store clerk at the Century Market. Knowledge of EJ. Oh, you know what? <sighs> oh, what the? Don't go. I, don't mind that you're I will talking. give you all the don't help I can. That, that was an accident, but okay. <laughs> give me EJ, the driver bringing in the shipments, or I'll make you for it. I run the shop. That's all I do. <laughs> it's obviously a lie, but what can we nail him with? Because the ledger here, the ledger is not for the grocery store. Oh, well, the coin. The coin seems to be a link. I, I mean, I guess. We can try it. It's doubt or lie. Tell me the goddamn truth. You are in this with the others. I told you I know them. I told you my family's at risk. What makes me part of their gang? Your silver dollar. 
You have a silver dollar, Erto, just like Juan. I'm sure Ernesto and the rest have them as well. Ernesto? The silver dollars are his mark. Whose? Give me a name. None of us are allowed to see him. His creatures carry his orders to us. If I gave you his name, I would be buried alongside my wife and children. If you don't give us something, you will rot in jail while your family starves on the street. Ernesto Juarez, tonight <laughs> at 1 a.m. He's bringing the truck into the soup factory. Please help me, sir. Ernesto can be very cruel. I think there's a logic bug here because we never learned about Ernesto until this conversation. But then Cole was like, Ernesto has a dollar too. <laughs> and he's and then this guy was like, please don't make me say his name. <laughs> Tell me about the soup cans. The soup is very popular, as you can see. <laughs> I'm sure it's popular. There's a reason why it's popular, right? But, uh, I mean, according to what he says, like, this says nothing. This is not a truth or a doubt or a lie thing. It's just a sentence. We can try lie. I think you're the connection on the Mexican side. I think you're more than you like to make out. So now I'm the big man in this? I kind of doubt that, so... Now let's try doubt. Looks like I made a mistake. <laughs> the real funny, wise guy. You want to try saying that again with no teeth? I get a delivery at 7.30 every other day from the factory. Jorge organizes everything. You're under arrest, Erto. I'll speak to the DA and see if he will agree to not seize your assets or deport you. That's the best I can do. Whoa. 10 p.m.? We're just automatically here? Freddy said they were moving 50 pounds a week. That's a lot of soup cans. I think this is an interstate operation. Moving dope around the country to selected grasshoppers. Local weed gets distributed in the usual way, through Pachuco street punks. Someone must know something about this drug baron character. Here they come. Let them unload the goods first. Now, let's get him. <laughs> Very inconspicuous. Are you crazy? What? Everyone's doing the same thing here. Retrieve from the trunk. Oh, okay. All right, move. Move. Yeah, let's I just go. want. Holy. Yeah, let's have that. All right, let's go. We're raiding this place already? Everyone into position. That's kind of weird. I thought... Okay, gentlemen, we'll take the lead. You cover us. Okay. I just don't know why we're being so hyper-aggressive here already. Right off the bat. Man, it's all police here. So far. Perimeter is up. The whole place Going is Going hard. Keep it tight, okay? Okay. LAPD, put your hands where we can see them. Throw out the guns. Go, Paul. Get in there. I am in there. You're covered, pal. I'm good. I'm good. I'm all good. How long do you think you can hold out? For quite a while. As long as I got my covering here. There is two more people... ...downstairs. Can't quite see where they are. Oh. Oh, they got one of them. Now he's gone for good. 
Don't see the last guy. Do we gotta go down? They have their guns. Throw down your gun if you like. I'm still gonna ape you. This is not a good location. Just chill walking down here. All clear? Oh. I think that's the last of them, Cole. Okay. Wow, we didn't even bother investigating this place. We just went in guns a blazing. Detectives. Found something here you probably want to see. Hmm? Dead people. Boxes. Yeah, we've seen enough dead people. We don't need to see this. But, seems like he's got something interesting in his pockets. She Ernesto. Address. We should see what the Federales have on him. Yeah, Ernesto. This is the guy we were looking for. What is this? Sea of Grass Premier, United Artists. Ticket for something? Like a musical or a movie? Oh, he's got a silver coin. One dollar per dead man. Doesn't seem like much for a human life. No, 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 no. The grocery guy isn't dead. You didn't kill him behind the scenes, did you? That's it. I think that's it. God damn. I think we found our stash, Cole. Take a look in these boxes. Indistinct. At the very minimum, another 50 pounds. Vegetable looking. Detectives! Things. I think we got the guy. Does the name Cruz mean something to you? It certainly does. Hmm. What you got here? Do you actually have something for me, or...? All chopping line workers report upstairs. Died with a can of soup in his hand. Oh, no, 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 that's money! That's money! Must be a thousand dollars here. Damn. It's a lucrative business. And that's why they do it, right? Because it's so lucrative. Yet another silver dollar. George? Phelps, Earl. Looks like quite a bloodbath. What was this all about? Drugs and money. What else? Speaking of money. Where did that roll go? I picked it up for safekeeping. The department owes me 50. Great. <laughs> I have another two coins for you. Great. I've got something to show you. It's all set up on the table over here. There. Take a look at these coins you've been collecting. They all have that same Masang King. There are letters cut into each coin, along with not legal tender. What does it mean? Masang King? Those are Morgan K? silver dollars from the 20s. They were removed from circulation and sent for disposal. A number of smelters around the country had the contract. Look at them together. Can you work out what it says? I can, but I'm wondering why there is an empty slot. Did I miss a coin? I can't move this. Oh, okay. The empty slot is for me to move the stuff. Alright, so basically what you want me to do is reorder it. Okay, I think I can do that. I don't know, man. It might be a little bit too hard for me. We'll have to see. Masa. Yeah. The first coin, M A S. The second, A N G. The third, oh. K A Y. The fourth, M E T. The fifth, A L S. Masanke Metals. A metal foundry. Would you like the address? Would I ever? 
1034 Vine Street, Hollywood. We'll finish up here. It's already been a long night, Phelps. See if you can talk them into giving themselves up. Sounds likely, since we just shot everybody here. How do you know the address right off the top of your head? That's nuts. Yeah, speaking of nighttime, it's pretty rare that we have cases during the night. And it makes sense because, you know, I work 9 to 5, 8 to 4, whatever. I don't work at night. Not unless there's a big case anyway. Okay, how do we get out of here? Roy? Over here. Damn, we killed a lot of people today. I hope we got what we came here for. You know the way. You can drive. Do we know where we're going? Actually, can I drive? Driving during the nighttime. It's a completely different experience. This used scrap metal collection plant. Okay. This case feels I like it's that going big by. Lot of cash doesn't weigh you down. <laughs> Get your priorities straight, Phelps. We're close to bringing in one of the biggest dope cases of the year, and you're worrying about unsubstantial evidence? That metal... I don't know why they would print the name of the place on the silver dollars. This case feels like it's going by really fast! Oh, whoa, I'm... I'm amazing. I'm amazing. <laughs> oh, it's right down the street. Locked. We need another way in. Come on, the rest of the police, we're just over there. Get them to bring some people over here. Can we? Can we? I mean, you angled it like this for a reason, right? Can I? What the <laughs> hell? God damn it. It was worth a try anyway. Okay, maybe from the... The place next door over? We just like... Aha! There we go. Do we want to start from the back? Just in case? It looks kind of abandoned, oh, but it can't... King's over five. God damn it! You win one Cover more the back door, Roy. I'm taking my money and going home. And fuck whose turn it is to mine shop. Hey, what can I say? I got lucky. Are you covering the back? You're cheating. Should I go in the front? I don't see. Hey, Reinforcements are on the way. Oh, shit. Cease and desist. Well, there's a lot of shooting in this one. Cover me, Roy. Everyone's on the side, so I can't... Yeah, that bullet's got your name on it. You're damn right it does. Is there more? Wanna get some bullets while I can. You okay? I'll tell you when I see what's waiting for us at the top. This case is very shooting oriented. Stay in cover. Wow. Eagle eye. Whoa! I can't see him. Holy! Guess we're not doing any investigating here until we get this over with. What's happening here? Nope. What do we... Ah! No? Oh, what the? I couldn't shoot him. I can't get him. 
Oh, that's freaking Roy! No wonder! Jesus! I was wondering why that guy was taking so long to die. Oh! oh my god! Oh my god, I can't believe I was shooting at Roy for like 20 minutes. <laughs> Horrible. That's what you get for wearing the movie star clothing. Are we good? Oh. LAPD, hands up! Victor Sanders. You know this guy? I should have known. Of course I know Roy. Roy and I have had an arrangement for Get many up. years. You're under arrest. Am I? We have a mountain of prima facie evidence, as well as the testimony. You'd be surprised how things have a habit of sorting themselves out. Evidence disappearing. Witnesses that can't be found. Policemen that forget. The impossible becomes probable when you have a client list like mine. Shut your mouth! Turn around and put your hands behind your back. Working vice can be a thankless task, Phelps. But on behalf of the brass, and the moms and dads, and the concerned citizens, I'd like to commend you and your partner for smashing this dope ring. Reefer is almost as big a threat to the children of this city as communism. What about Sanders, Lieutenant? Leave Sanders to me, Phelps. The chief will be looking after that one personally. He will be brought to trial. Phelps, we are celebrating your success. Don't push your luck. Sanders uh, is no longer your problem. Man. That's code for he's not going to be arrested. Mr. Clue. $15 vehicle damage, $10 fire hydrant damage. <laughs> Even without Victor Sanders, the Parnell Soup pot bust is guaranteed to go down in LAPD history. Whoa, this case felt kind of weird because we just did one interview, didn't we? Yeah, two questions correct. And then the rest of it was shooting. Which is nice. I like shooting. I don't mind. But evidence-wise, it was just like shooting after shooting after shooting. Huge shootouts everywhere. Hmm. Nice little change of pace.